Hey there, it's Frank Over, and welcome back to Indiscriminate Indie, a radio program producing, promoting, and playing kick-ass independent music. We're broadcasting live from London, Ontario, and this is Indiscriminate Indie. Well, hello, and welcome to Indiscriminate Indie. I'm your host, Fry Fogel. Today, I am very lucky to have in the house Janie Quinn from Vietnam. How are you, Janie? I'm doing fine. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Now that we got everything hooked up and I'm speaking to you, it's great. It's so good to, uh, to finally speak to you. We've, we've uh, emailed each other a bunch of times over the last year. Um, right off the bat, I want to say I'm a big, uh, big fan of your music. And it's a real honor having you as my first uh, interview. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. That's good. Just, uh, just to let folks know a little bit about Janie. Janie is uh, 20 years young, and she is an indie artist from Ho Chi Minh City uh, in Vietnam. Now, did I say that properly, Janie? Okay, great, great. And uh, Janie uh, has just released her first EP uh, titled Wasted Love. Uh, it has five songs on it, and it's my distinct pleasure to be able to play it in its entirety today as uh, we go through and I speak with Janie and ask her a few questions. So um, right off the bat, Janie, I, I, I'm kind of a techie guy. I was, I was uh, curious as to... To what software you recorded your uh, your EP on, or, or how you actually recorded your? Because I know you did it all yourself, and I uh, was was quite curious as to how you went about that. Well, the software that I use is FL Studio, and it is software on PC. I do not own any MacBooks. So, um, okay. Oh, very cool, very cool. And uh, I don't know about you, but I find um, mastering is, is a whole different uh, science onto its own. Um, I, I, yeah, it's, uh, it's something I, you know, I, I don't know if I'll ever fully get it. It uh, seems to be a, a learning curve that is, is quite huge for me anyway. Um, a lot of science behind it, so... Yeah, well, I got to say, you did a really good job. Now, did you um, did you do the whole album in its entirety, all on your own? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's incredible. So you played everything, you, you wrote everything, you mixed and mastered everything, and now you're distributing it on your own as well. Absolutely. I'm right there with you, Jeannie. I do that with my own, uh, my own music as well. And uh, there is a lot to do. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot of perseverance. And uh, the, the learning curve never, never stops, it seems. So. Yeah, you mentioned, yeah, you like Please Please. Oh, thank you so much. That, that means a lot. And there's quite a, I, I don't want to get on talking about my music because we're here about you today, but uh, there's quite a, a, a difference in, 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 in songs uh, when you compare the conditions of existence and Please Please, um, two totally different genres almost. So, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad uh, we're we're mutual fans of each other, and that's cool. And uh, you know, that's what uh, being an indie artist is all about. You know, we have to we have to support and promote each other, and uh, you know, give each other a pat in the back, and that's how we're going to get things done. So, so uh, to start off, the uh, the EP is t entitled "Wasted Love." 
And uh, I've got a bunch of questions for you, Jeannie, but I'm dying to get uh, a song playing here for uh, for our fans. So uh, I'm going to just start right at the top. So the first song on Janie Quinn's Wasted Love is a song titled Run To You. And I'm Fry Fogle. I'll be right back with Janie Quinn. Check it out right here, right now on Indiscriminate Indie. <laughs> Keep your eyes on me. True here, true there, true everywhere. You have my heart in your fingertips. True here, true there, true everywhere. song run to you off her brand new ep wasted love great song janie i really like how when you do the harmonies you uh, when you harmonize with yourself that sounds awesome well done well done i i also want to let you know my uh my girlfriend is also a big fan of yours um she, she, 
Uh, she's hiding in the background here, so. I'm, I'm dancing and clapping in the background. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much. Please say hi to me. Janie says hi. So everybody out there, that's, that's my love, that's Lauren. So I'm here in London, Ontario at iNoise Productions, and I've got Janie Quinn from Ho Minh Chin City, <clears throat> excuse me, in Vietnam. So, uh, Janie, I was reading through your bio, and uh, you started songwriting at 11 years old. That's, that's really cool. What was the title of your first song? <laughs> Isn't it so many so many times the first song a musician writes is is about love or or due to love. That's yeah, it's kind of a universal thing. So that's very cool. Eleven years old, and uh, here you are at twenty now. You're producing, recording, mixing, and mastering your own music. Um, you can find Janie's uh, debut EP "Wasted Love" on iTunes. Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, and a whole bunch of other music platforms. So get out there, buy it, support a great indie artist, and a great global indie artist at that as well. Um, one thing that's really, I've really been dying to ask you about, Jeannie, is I, as I read your, your bio, <clears throat> it says you're, you're working on a side project that... Um, uh, has Taylor Swift involved at, at some level? Can you expand on that a bit for me? Um, actually, Taylor Swift herself, uh, you know, she did not personally involve in our project. It's uh, like a community of her fans. Uh, I am a Taylor Swift fan myself, and I have been friends with so many other Taylor Swift fans. And in August 2014, we started a project that is called the Swifties Charity Project. And what we did was basically we wrote a song and then we saw it on iTunes and all the proceeds were uh, later on donated to blood cancer research. Oh, that's amazing. That That's really, really cool. Well done. Well done. So um, <clears throat> if somebody wanted to get that song, is it still available on iTunes? Okay, good stuff. I know what I'm going to be doing after I'm done my interview, going to get that song as well. And that's really cool. Good for you for doing that. That's that, that's really, really cool. And from what I understand, uh, Taylor's uh, fans are, uh, you know, a very dedicated bunch. And, and that that just goes to prove it right there. Absolutely. There's nothing that can make one feel better than helping someone else. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So now that you've got the the inaugural EP out, Janie, what uh, what's next? Good, so you're looking at uh, 2017 to, to be putting that out. Oh, that's great. So in the meantime, uh, will you be um, doing any touring with your EP or playing any gigs? Is that is that uh, an option for you right now? Or? Oh, 
Oh, that's really cool. You've, you've got your plate full there, that's for sure. What about performing at the university? Have you ever have you ever done that or? I have. I have performed at my university like twice or three times. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, and I mean, I would definitely do it in the future if I have the opportunity. Oh, that's great. That's that's great. Yeah, there's this real uh, real difference between uh, recording in a studio and, and getting up in front of an audience to play. That's for sure. It's a whole different animal. That's great. So, Janie, on this EP, you mentioned that you play all the instruments. Um, what would your favorite instru instrument be? Oh, very cool, very cool. So do you prefer uh, acoustic over electric or or electric over acoustic? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess totally depending on what sound you're going after at the time. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Well, I think that we should get on to playing another song. I've got many more questions for you, but I think we should get on to some more of this excellent music. So up next, I'm going to be playing a song called Lies. Again, it's by Janie Quinn, and it's off her new EP called Wasted Love. Check it out right here, right now, on Indiscriminate Indie. Out of bottles, drink on the wine. Can you tell me you love me now, even when you're telling lies? Same old life. 
Well, all right. That is Lies by Janie Quinn off her EP, Wasted Love. Uh, what another beautiful song, Janie. I really like that one. Your, uh, your vocals are so, uh, so emotive. I, I, I've got to. I've got to ask you. Who Who are some of your musical influences? Awesome. You, you can t you can absolutely see that influence in in your writing and uh, uh, your, your your styling uh, of your vocals. Um, and well, those were all great artists you just picked. Amy Winehouse. That's a particular favorite of mine that uh, is sadly missed. Unfortunately, went way too early in in this life. So that uh, that brings me to another question: um, Have you ever done any collaborations other than um, the one you mentioned uh, with the Taylor Swift uh, uh, project? Oh, that's great. That's awesome. That's awesome because, you know, I, I'm uh, such a huge fan of yours. I wanted to ask you maybe down the road sometime if perhaps you'd be interested in collaborating with me on something. Absolutely. That'd be awesome. I, I'd love to get a chance to sing with you. I think that, I think that'd be amazing. Just amazing. So there, that's awesome. Now I've got my answer, and I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's awesome. I really like. I honestly, um, Janie, uh, I, I like your tunes more every time I hear them, and uh, that's not always what happens with me with music. So, um, back to your voice. You have, you have a very strong voice, and I've got great pitch. I, I just I'm curious if. It, are you a trained vocalist, or, or um, did you just kind of come up with your own stylings? And I think uh, I just come up with my own style. I uh, haven't received any you know, professional training. Uh, I just you know develop some kind of techniques, like breathing techniques, uh, or techniques to widen my range. The techniques that I think that work well for me, and I. You know, stick to that. But you know, in the future, I hope that I can, you know, take more singing lessons because I really want to improve my voice. Yeah, you, you can never go wrong with that. That that's for sure. Um, back years ago, uh, myself, I I took some vocal lessons for uh, almost two years, and uh, I, I I was being taught the bella canta bella canto style, which is um, which is kind of like. A, an opera singing almost style, um, which is weird because I don't sing opera. But um, <laughs> once again, it teaches a lot of, of a lot of breathing techniques and uh, you know proper proper placement of where the sound's going and all that stuff. And it uh, it certainly helps, um, you know. It uh, especially if you're playing or singing ten or fifteen or thirty songs in a night. It's 
you know you, your voice can get tired and uh if you don't use it properly you can you can hurt your voice so yeah, yeah. no wonder why your voice is amazing <laughs> <laughs> i really like your voice really oh i'm so flattered that that means so much to me thank you Janie. thank you if if you could see me my my cheeks are red right now so <laughs> i really appreciate that especially coming from an artist that i really really am a big fan of so well wow, geez now i'm even looking more towards uh down the road maybe doing a song with you that that's going to be awesome so yeah so i, I had a, another question i wanted to ask you Janie. um you know you're an indie artist right now and uh you know from talking with you you, you firmly have a have a, a real good grasp on what it takes to, to to be an indie artist and the work involved and you know, nobody else is going to do it but you kind of thing. But I wondered with uh, with you now having an EP out and uh, an album uh, up and coming in the next year, will you be shopping um, your music to, to any labels, whether it be indie labels or, or major labels? And I'm still waiting for the uh, for the response. So uh, that is something that I will consider in the near future. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And I noticed you you've been uh, you've been kind of doing what 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 I've been doing, focusing on uh, on getting your stuff to internet radio. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That chances for indie artists to to really uh, you know get out there and promote the music to the general public so I, I, I really appreciate the development of the, the internet radio because thanks to that we get heard more often and more easily uh, so yeah absolutely absolutely yeah I know it's it's a great thing and and uh, one of the things I really like about internet radio is <clears throat> like I can't speak for Vietnam, but in Canada, um, uh, major uh, radio like FM and AM is very heavily um, uh, legislated, where they can only play certain music. Um, it's uh, heavily, um, heavily Canadian content laden, which isn't a bad thing, but it also cuts off uh, the opportunity for other you know, global indie artists to, to get in on the ground floor. And uh, with internet radio, you don't have that. Um, it seems to be a lot more of a global community, which is really cool. Yeah, I absolutely appreciate Yeah. Okay, Jeannie. Well, you know, I think I need some more Jeannie Quinn music. And uh, the next song on the EP is a song called Wasted Love. And uh, this is this is another one of my favorites on the EP. Um, very well written. Um, so let's get on with it. This song is called Wasted Love. And this is the title track off Janie's brand new EP, Wasted Love. Check it out right here on Indiscriminate Indie. Ding, ding, 
So please don't waste your love on me. I will make sure I will waste my love on you. Right at the star, see the sky is getting blue. I still love you, but our love be wasted soon. That was Wasted Love by Janie Quinn, the title track off her new EP. You can find that EP on Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, and a whole bunch more music platforms. Another great song. Well done, Janie. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how many times, but thank you. Yeah, you know, and uh, I, 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 I just... I can't uh, say enough about it. I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, the next song coming up, um, I think so far is my favorite off of off the EP. And uh, as we're getting a little short for time, um, I think I'm going to play that song, Janie, and then we'll uh, we'll talk some more. Um, but just the the title, Game of Sins. Um, how did you come up with that? What's, what's the story behind that? That, that was really cool getting the getting the low down on that. So that being said, this is Game of Sins by Janie Quinn. Check it out right now. Secret 
persons Cause we both know how this ends Spill the coffee on a white blank sheet On your little secret starting to leak Falling up was lying at your feet Will you pick them up and eat? Because you never love a good thing when it's Because you only love a good thing when it breaks So tell me if you mean it apologize for some of that static. I think that uh, comes through on the Skype. But uh, that is Game of Sins by Janie Quinn uh, for a new EP called Wasted Love. Uh, that's another great song, Janie. Another great song. Uh, there's one more song left on the EP, and we're running really tight for, for time, so I just wanted to ask you one more question, Janie. Um, to date... You know, what has been your biggest musical thrill or accomplishment to date? Can you think of one? Mm, you know, to be honest, I, I don't think that I have had any really big achievement or anything like that. I kind of view my music career as a journey, and every step that I take, I feel it's new sometimes. You know, the first time that my song is on iTunes, the first time that, um, you know, somebody That's great. That's great. That just that just goes to show how real you are, how real of a person you are, and uh, I can't say it any better than that. Janie, I uh, I gotta thank you so much for coming on my show. Um, it's been a uh, just a distinct pleasure uh, speaking with you and sharing your music. Um, I sincerely appreciate all the support you've given me and my show. Uh, over the last year, and uh, I, I, you know, I really look forward to continuing uh, that relationship down the road. Thank you, thank you for having me on the show. I, I really appreciate your support for me. 
Anytime, Janie, anytime. So, folks, that was Janie Quinn. Her new EP, Wasted Love, can be purchased on pretty much any music platform out there on the big worldwide net. We're going to wrap up this Sunday afternoon with the last song on Janie's EP. It's called Dead Wrong. Janie, I hope to have you again soon. All the best. And to everybody out there, keep on rocking. We'll talk to you soon. This is Fry Fogel for Indiscriminate Indie. Where I